Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me again. I'm gonna make a diaper cake today, an owl diaper cake. I know it was a long time I made one, maybe a year ago. So grabbing an eight inch cake form, and then we're also using some size one diapers. So you wanna make sure you're wrapping the bottom part towards you of the diaper, and then the waist part inwards. So you're just gonna go all the way around, filling it as needed. 24 diapers for the body and then one to fill the, the gap or the hole since we don't need one, so a total of 25. And you can actually use as many diapers as you want, but I found that the total of 25 was sufficient because the larger it was, I actually tried with more diapers. It didn't work out. It was just too heavy and too big for the receiving blanket to go around. So there's the middle portion right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a rubber band to secure everything together. And, and then I'm gonna pop it out of the cake form. And then I'm going to just really just use the wetness indicator to kind of um, make sure I line it in the middle and then adjust the cake as needed. As you'll see, um, I used more diapers as I mentioned before, but it just didn't work out because it just made it really too thick for the receiving blanket to go around it. So you'll see coming up next. So we're making the eyes now. We needed to make two eyes. Um, it's a total of 10 diapers, five per eye. And I did notice that the light was kind of bright. So you'll see um, in the uh, up and coming, the second one, I did move it up a little bit closer, but pretty simple. Just wrapping it around kind of as you would with a kind of a rose and just not really any particular round reason. I just want to make sure I covered the previous diaper um, when I went around. So here's five more for the second eye. So just wrap that around, just held it with my hands. And I realized same thing again, I, you wouldn't see, so I brought it up a little bit. So that's it. it, looks like a little rose, a cabbage rose, I guess. And those complete the eyes. So grabbing our receiving blanket, I found this was the best way. I always just try to check the sizing of the cake just to make sure it fits perfectly. So that's what I did. Now I grabbed a onesie and I'm just tucking it underneath the rubber band that was holding the diaper. And this will actually be the back. This cake is actually gonna be just all yellow, gray, and white just because the person I'm giving this to doesn't know what she's having and I don't think she's planning on finding out her and her husband so um, just want to make this pretty unisex see as I was mentioning about the receiving blanket being super it was already so big so once again just grabbing another ribbon and all of this of course is going to be hidden with ribbon so don't worry too much about it just make sure that um, you have everything in there and I know there's actually a lot of diaper cakes out there but you know, I kind of played around, figured out what worked best for me, and I would recommend the same for you as well, but hopefully this will help you out. So that's the back. I just want to cover it so it doesn't just look like diapers in the back. Um, and so that's what the eyes look like. And I'm going to turn it around because we're going to go ahead and add the bib to make the chest. I actually got lucky. I was at Target and I found this from this new line. I think it came out maybe a few months ago called Cat and Jack, I believe. It's a new kids line and this was part of a set that I had and it was super cute and it totally looks like an owl chest so next step I zoomed out so you guys can see just I went ahead and just measured loosely um, a ribbon a yellow ribbon and just tying it up top nothing extraordinary I just kind of did a double tie a double knot because that would be hidden as well but that's how you would just hold the body so now you can kind of stand up make sure everything is good adjust as needed and then next, um, here's a second receiving blanket, but I went ahead and folded it already. I figured I didn't need to show it again. It's the same way. And so that will kind of resemble, that will cover, serve two purposes. Covers the eyeballs, the ribbon up top, and then also will serve as the little wings. Or the, and so I'm going to stand them back up again so I can adjust to see that it covers the eyes completely. And then just kind of want to make sure you even it out. I was kind of trying to adjust the arms a little bit because it was getting tucked in, but then I just kind of left it as is. So to cover that rubber band, I'm just grabbing the exact same ribbon. It's just a yellow sheer ribbon. It's pretty. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just tie a bow to cover that. Nothing special, just a normal bow. I struggle with bows too. I'm sure most of you do, and if you don't, congratulations, <laughs> you're probably one of the few. Um, so I just kind of fussed with it until I get it to the way I like it and then I just trimmed off the ribbon and at first I just I was going to leave it like that but then I decided I wanted to um, give details to the ribbon and I 
if you've been watching my videos you've seen I've done this a few times on several videos so and now we're just going to go ahead and make a beak. I grabbed these mittens from the cat, cat and Jack line. It's super cute. So I'm just tucking the second mitten in because you can't give just one mitten. And then you're just going to fold it like a V shape, shove it in the middle. That really kind of just hides any imperfections over there as well. And ta-da, now you have a beak. And then I'm just going to finish it off by... Oh, I forgot, I gotta add the eyes. So I found this at Michael's. It's just one of those like kind of build your own flower things. So I just grabbed the largest um, petal and then the second largest petal. And then I'm also gonna grab some, just some old, I do a lot of crafts. So just some old tabs that, you know, pokes through and looks like eyes. So I was looking for some other colors, but all I had left was blue, so. The other ones, I guess I must have broke it off. So just kind of fold that in half. And I'm gonna have all the supplies listed on the bottom in the description box. So, and I'll also have links to them. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, please subscribe. So I'm just grabbing some washi tape and then attaching the eyes. And then the last piece I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add the feet. Originally I was going to do ears because I saw a lot of people were putting ears in but I was looking at videos of owls and some have ears and some don't so I decided to go ahead and just make the paws. The only thing that's a little different from what I'm showing you now is when I stood them up after I put the feet in it didn't really work so I went ahead and just attached it below um, below and I'll show you a video of that or a picture or a screenshot of that. But that's about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.